Today will hopefully be our final day of planting corn for 23. <laughs> Morning, Didge. And if you watched the last video, you remember that rain I was talking about that's coming in a few days? Now it's coming at four o'clock this afternoon. I haven't looked at the radar, but hour by hour says four o'clock. You let me know. It's gonna come across the South Dakota border into Minnesota at about one o'clock, which will put it here at about two to three. If things go well today, we could finish corn around two to three. You didn't get the gopher? Nope, didn't even plug it either though. Did you leave the trap there then or move it? Onyx has been gopher trapping. Girls are ready for school. Yeah. Cat dog wants to go. It's gonna be a good day. And honestly, if it rained as soon as we're done with corn, that'd be okay. It'd be good for what we have on the ground. These two get off to school and Onyx goes to work with dad. Let's get to it. We got a part in the dually across the road here that dad picked up. I'm gonna grab that and throw that on quick while the thing warms up. There goes the kid. He's busy grabbing all the rocks so we don't ever have to pick rock again. So it's pretty small, but if you look at this cup right here, that snaps on there. There's an O-ring here. This is the pressure line that actually, no, that's not, that's the seed line that the seed gets pushed to the row unit through. And if that's not sealed up, it's not going to feed enough uh, seed quickly enough to the row unit. It looks like a real easy fix, but I'm not going to mess with it because it's still working. I got two extra ones right here with O-rings. So if it quits working, I'll do it then. Otherwise, I'm going to wait till I get back to the shop just in case I have an issue. The good news is we're down to like 200 acres. The bad news is they're about 10 miles apart, so we're gonna have some road time, but we should have time. Oh, notification from Simply Safe. Ah, it's Isla. Look at her playing with the kitties. Oh, well, one of them's making a break for it, Isla. It's definitely peace of mind being able to keep an eye on the house, the shop, and the family right from the tractor seat when I'm gone a lot this time of year. Simply Safe is the security system that I've told you guys about before. It's the system we use for everything around the farm and around the house. And with their advanced technology and professional monitoring service powered by Fast Protect TM, they help us to keep an eye on everything 24-7 and get a quick response if something happens even when we're away. It's also affordable. They're less than half the cost of a lot of traditional brands. There are no long-term contracts or hidden fees, anything like that. So whether it's the unexpected visitors or just the kitties on the deck that Isla's playing with, Simply Safe helps to keep us secure. If you're interested in a system for yourself right now, you can save 20% with an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month for free. All you have to do is go to simplysafe.com slash millennial farmer because there's no safe like Simply Safe. Simply Safe on home. pit stop these RT tractors are really nice because they come with a restroom I did run into a little bit of water at one point too anybody in there that's gonna do it for this field down here I'm gonna head back north now sounds like dad and Onyx they're talking on the radio but they're a little ways away so they're not coming in clear but Sounds like they got that all field right, all finished being dug, we'll so I'm gonna then, right? swing by home, grab fuel and a bottle of water, and head up for our final 100 Matt, acres. You're on here? I can hear you, but I can't really hear Grandpa. Well, he's wondering if it's okay for him to bring the razor back up here. Yeah, that's fine. Do whatever you gotta do with it. You're good, Grandpa. I needed permission to take my razor to the field. He's wondering if it's too hard for him to get out if you can hit him out. Yeah, we'll winch him out of there if we need to. Sorry, Ditch, for interrupting your nap, but I gotta get to the fuel barrel. Heads up.
once again since I have a few minutes it's always good to put an eye on things just make sure things look the way things are supposed to look and I need a water yeah sometimes I just leave boxes of water laying all over in random spots so that I can grab one wherever and whenever I want back to work Onyx got this last hunter dug for me now he's gonna take our farm mode of transportation here down to go get my pickup that's got all the extra seed in it that I need well he got me here someone left me a gift on my pickup window I'm noticing the uh, skies to the south and the west getting darker oh and suddenly they went from 30% rain coming to 92% not 90 92 very specific for a last minute change oh good yeah uh, it's not good actually that was sarcasm I'm gonna I mean, I mean I'm, a, I'm out of seed now I gotta go throw some bags in but um, I'm not gonna be able to beat that with this hundred acres it's possible I have an hour but I kind of doubt it and there's it's gonna take me with end rows and stuff at least two hours to do this field plus I got a load corn I'll, I'll load what I got here, but that doesn't look promising. Hi there. Hi. Do you see what I see coming from the southwest? Yeah, I just called you on the radio to see if all the seed was out of the dually down there. <laughs> uh, all the seed is out of the dually, yes. And I'm in my pickup backing up to the planter right now. I'm empty, but I'm wondering if I should even break this pallet down or just start bringing things home. On radar, there's a big red line basically running from... Uh, from southeast to northwest, yeah. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's gonna get us, huh? Oh yeah, let me, I'll put it in motion here and tell you how far it is now, but the weather channel went from like 30% to 92% in the next hour. Oh, huh. Yeah, it shows in the next hour, but boy, things got dark in a hurry here in the last 20 minutes. They did, yeah, yep. So it's got to be building because none of that was there an hour ago. In one phone call, I talked myself into quitting and then re-talked myself into going forward here. So I'm going to start throwing bags. Although I did get a message from a guy an hour southwest of here. He said they're getting a lot of rain and hail right now. So I'm going to throw bags in and go planting. Because if I don't, we'll miss it all anyway. Because the stuff isn't cheap and when I say it isn't cheap I mean like it's ridiculously expensive like uh, 14,000 bucks for a pallet like this you know somewhere in that range all right I can't even talk 15 bags on each side so we still got more in here I'm gonna run this thing home because the reports I'm getting are getting worse and it just got a fair amount colder out so the pickup pickup will go home because it's got seed in it the planter I'm gonna fold up and nose it out just in case we decide to bring it home if it rains and we got a couple days we might bring it home grease everything check over the gauge wheels reset the depths you don't know what's gonna happen but if we leave the planter here in the middle of the field we make a heck of a mess pulling out onto the road so I will lift it up fold it up nose it out the approach Shut it down, lock it, and get the truck out of here. Get the truck out of here. <laughs> Jeez, I wanted to finish this 100 acres. All right, just in time, because it is starting to rain, and we don't want that seed to get rained on. Well, I'm glad I left when I did. The wind picked up a bunch, too. Here she comes to trip the beam. No? Onyx tricked her. She thought he was coming outside. Out there, 
Did you have to go out there just to make sure it was actually raining? Go check it out. Come right back in again. There. <laughs> I think it's gonna be muddy. Don't know if this is gonna work. This is some sticky, heavy black mud. It's, I don't know how much we got here. Oh, there's nothing dry right there. This is not, I really don't think this is gonna work. If it doesn't work, is it worth it? Okay, I can't scratch down to any dry dirt. Definitely should have had this up by the road, but I definitely didn't think it was going to be raining when I left here earlier. See, that's what our soils do. I didn't walk very far. Four wheel drive. Wipers. Go, go gadget mud truck. Here we go, come on. Uh, I'm half stuck already, but I don't feel like I should quit. Get right here and I'm stuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that was as much speed as I could get. I can still move backwards. That's that. Well, Dooley will see you in the fall when the ground freezes over. But it's 5.30 now, that's gonna do it. Anna and I are gonna call it a day. Well, would you look at that? 24 hours later and the tractor is still sitting right where I parked it, which in my opinion is a pretty good thing. <laughs> the amount of rain we got was really variable depending on where you were. Right at the farm, we got about three tenths, most of it within about 15 minutes. Uh, but there was places not far from here to the northeast that actually ended up getting, I heard a couple of, a couple of inches in some spots. I don't think we got a ton here. The ground's pretty dry when I dig in it and dad is about a mile away from here tilling. So I'm gonna unfold this thing and go try it and hopefully we can finish our last 80 acres of corn. Five to four. Go ahead. I'm up here and going again. Um, I did finish around the ends on the 100, uh, or on the 80, I mean. Um, I would say it's it's a little bit sticky underneath, similar to that first day when we planted the south quarter, but uh, I just took some down pressure out of it, and I don't know, I think I think it's going all right. I think I should plant it. Yeah, I, the way the weather is, you never know, because it, it could start raining, then it would be upset if we have to plant it four months later. Or, or, yeah, it just could get worse too. Yep, I'll be done here in a couple hours then. Okay, yeah, the forecast sounded better, but they're talking rain maybe tomorrow night, and probably Friday night too, so it'd be nice to get a few beans in first. Yeah, we may as well finish up this corn and get things switched over and, and get a few acres of beans in. Yep, that's what I think. You're out on the west quarter digging? Yep. Sounds good. Well, if they cut, so I'm hoping to finish here and then I might have to run up and grab uh, Onyx and Orion up at the shooting park, but otherwise, um, hopefully I'll get done here first and we can bring the planter home later tonight if I, if I don't bring it home first. Okay. I am down to about 25 acres left. And I'm almost out of seed, so I'm gonna top off with a little bit of seed. I'll throw a few bags on each side, and then I will leave the truck here with the other bags. And then, and then, um, yep, that's what I'll do, I'll farm.
This one has duct tape on it because, uh, well, I broke it yesterday. Got a few bags in each side and three extras riding on the hitch there between the tanks for me so I can fill it up if I'm on the other end of the field when I need it. But this should do it. About a round and a half or less left right here on these little short rows. So I don't need much seed, but I am getting a warning beeping at me saying I got one row empty and I can see in the tanks that they're way down there. And the pickup is on the other side of that grove, which is the reason I left a couple bags on the hitch here. Yeah, I would say we're fairly close to empty. I'm also pretty confident one bag is gonna do it, so I'll split it here between the tanks. We'll see if that gets us there. If not, we gotta open another expensive bag and use just a little bit of it. Oh well. The wheels got all muddy. There it is. We're filling in the final little square of corn planting 23. This is it. No fireworks at all. It's like nobody's out here paying any attention. Look at that. Dad unhooked the grain cart and got the roller hooked up while I was gone. That's good. We're going to need that for soybeans tomorrow. Well, that's it for corn. We're going to switch this thing over to soybeans tomorrow in the morning. Sounds like we got at least a couple of days without rain now, so we should be able to get going on beans and get a few acres in. We got really good conditions and good going right now. So we're going to keep going and take advantage of it. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video when we switch this thing over to soybeans and uh, get going on that. I just want to say one final thing. If any of you are in western or central Minnesota, the eastern Dakotas, if you're interested, come on over to Alexandria, Minnesota to the Alexandria Shooting Park on May 26th. That evening, we are going to be doing a grand reopening with some of the new owners. Uh, I'm going to be part of a show with uh, Steve Gould of Target Focus Life, who is one of our owners. We're going to be doing some trick shots. There's going to be fun for the kids. We're going to have uh, our new archery courses set up. There's going to be some shooting going on. So come on over. Free ice cream, by the way. Bring, uh, bring the kids, bring the family, come on over, check it out, uh, meet us all. I will be there that evening, May 26th. Hopefully we'll see some of you guys there. Okay, keep it between the rows. <laughs>